Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can already see, I got the truck up on the lift. So, uh, wasn't originally going to plan to film what I'm about to do, but I think uh, with some of the added stuff we're going to do, it will be beneficial, uh, at least to film and show you guys. Um, as the title of the video says, I am going to start installing the transmission cooler lines, and while we're at it, uh, my dad is going to work on notching my transmission cross member. So we're doing that because we want the exhaust to be able to go through without having to go under or uh, above. Um, the transmission cross member on these trucks stock, uh, they have basically a loop on the passenger side and that's because there's a Y pipe before the transmission cross member. Well, the way we're doing the exhaust now, the Y pipe is gonna be after the transmission cross member. So now we need a loop on the other side or a way for the exhaust on the other side to get through without getting any lower or any higher, uh, just making it a lot nicer for the exhaust to go through. Um, so we're doing that. You can buy an aftermarket uh, transmission cross member, but we're not going to. We're just gonna modify the one I have, like I said. And the other thing that I'll be working on is getting the transmission set up for trans cooler which my aftermarket radiator has the trans cooler built in, so that's where the lines are gonna go. I am converting from a hard line to a dash six line. Um, I'm doing that just because it's a little easier. One, I don't know where I put the stock transmission cooler lines. Those I thought I kept somewhere, but I don't know where they are, so not using those. And I have all the fittings I need, should be able to run it fairly easy this way. I don't want to mess with hard tubing, making my own custom line. So uh, dash six was the best way to go. Um, yeah. So here, I'll be back. So to convert the 4L60E over to a dash six line, you need an adapter for the transmission because originally the stock hard tubing goes to uh, fitting with like a C-clamp in it. And that's kind of how you get everything sealed and whatnot, well, that won't work with the Dash 6 line, so we gotta take those fittings out with the little C-clips, and I have these Russell fittings right here. Um, put this up a little bit closer so you can see, I don't know if that'll focus. Yeah, so I got these fittings, and on one side is the uh, 4L60E side, the other side is for Dash 6 line, it lets Dash 6 screw right in, so nice and easy, simple. Um, will just make everything very easy. Uh, you do have to get separate fittings for your radiator or your trans cooler, whichever you're gonna use to convert it to dash six, if you're using dash six, I should say. Um, that will vary depending on your cooler or your radiator, etc. cetera. So um, I have some on order, hopefully they fit. We're not gonna be doing that side this time. This time I am just doing the one side of the lines, cutting them long and I'll route them kind of into position and then they'll be there for when we get to that step. That way I already have it done, knocked out of the way. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this. All right guys, so you can see we have the transmission cross member here. It is lower on this side for the exhaust to come out because the Y pipe, as I said before, was further up. And on the driver's side, it is straight. So the goal is to uh, cut from probably here to around here and basically move that section up with some slant, some quarter inch tubing, or not tubing, but quarter inch plate or something, figure it out. Uh, raise that up so the exhaust can come through here, come up under the transmission, and go to a Y pipe somewhere in this general vicinity. So that's kind of the plan with that. Um, I don't know how much you can actually see up in here. Oh, you can actually see pretty well. So there's the fittings in the transmission, uh, the 4L60E for the trans cooler line. So pretty much just got to take those fittings off, put my new fittings on and run the line. Shouldn't be too bad. Now that is a tight area, as you can see, that's part of the reason why I am going to go ahead and lower the transmission. Uh, that way I have a little bit more clearance. I will still probably have to bend out the heat shield there and uh, clearance it a little. The game plan is to use 90 AN connectors and have it come through this gap here, kind of where this transmission ear is. Uh, it's hard to see, but that is kind of the plan, have them come through here 
and then through this gap under the engine under the engine mount and then it will go up to the front of the engine so kind of the game plan kind of the game plan there on everything and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get the transmission sported and take this cross member out all right guys it's been a couple days um couldn't finish doing the lines on the truck because i didn't have the correct fittings i thought i had the right fittings but i didn't anyway my dad did finish welding up the cross member here so you can see the whole cross member this is the passenger side driver side he took some quarter inch plate and basically just moved it up the height of the cross member as you can see fully boxed in all the welds i'm getting ready to go in and grind those down and uh get it prepped for paint basically i'm gonna go ahead and end up painting this whole thing and yeah the fitting should be in tomorrow so i won't be doing those today get those in once i get those i should be able to finish everything up um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and grind this down get it prepped for paint I have went ahead and painted the transmission cross member as you can see turned out pretty good as far as the paint goes not much to uh, really talk about I mean paint to paint just make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing so put this under the truck it won't rust it'll be all good don't mind the noise outside my dad is currently on the tractor doing some work but anyway I got my fittings in as you can see these are two different styles of 90 degree connectors so this one is a an to a hose and this one is an an to an an female to male um, both tack six and i have decided that i am going to end up using these on the transmission side so they are just slightly if you look just slightly smaller or a little bit tighter of a radius than this fitting is and yes there will be a straight connector on here that is a n so that will add a little bit of bulk to it but it is still overall going to be thinner so i'm going to put this on this will give us just a little bit more clearance that i would like to have while uh, having this up in that transmission tunnel we did try manipulating the transmission tunnel a little bit to add more clearance and it did add a little bit more clearance just uh prying it out a little but this should give us a little bit more make it feel a little bit better so i'm going to go ahead and try putting these on i have a feeling that's going to be quite difficult but try getting these on and then get the hoses on um and yeah we'll be good to go i might not do it in that order i might put the hoses on first and then try putting this on i haven't decided yet but that's basically the way that I want to go with it. Put those on and go from there. As you guys can see up in there, I have the lines connected to the transmission. So you can see right there's the top one, the 90 degree coming out and then the lines going back. Here's the lower one, 90 degree coming out and going back. So they are up in there tight. This is kind of how the layout's going to be for going to the front of the engine bay. You can see the lines are a little crossed. We'll get that fixed up later. But basically, they're going to run along the side of the engine and through uh, the little area in between the engine and the cross member. We still have to put the starter in, so we kind of want to leave those out of the way. But we're going to secure them a little better and make sure that they don't rub on anything that they shouldn't be rubbing on. And really, they shouldn't be in any area affected by movement at all. So, um, yeah, that's where we're at. And as you guys just saw, the cross member just got painted. I am going to let that dry overnight before we put it back in here. But once we get that in, I mean, that's pretty much it for the install that I plan on this video. So yeah, I'll go ahead and cut to when I have the transmission cross member installed. As you all can see, I have just finished putting in the transmission cross member. Looks really good being all nice and shiny, you know? Looks basically brand new. So passenger side, we still have the gap for the exhaust to come through. And now 
we have plenty of room on the driver's side to get the exhaust through without being incredibly low hanging. Um, otherwise it would hang down about, I don't know, maybe three inches. Now we have plenty of room for it to pass through here. This transmission cross member will still retain the strength that it had and yeah, everything is great looking there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and thanks for watching.